In this episode, we will talk about the icing model. Let's enjoy it! The icing model basically analyzes the interactions of pair of particles or close neighbors. Each particle is considered to have only two possible spins, namely a spin up or a spin down. The model also considers the possibility of applying an external magnetic field. The icing model could be one-dimensional, two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Only the one- and two-dimensional cases have explicit analytic solutions. Independent of the number of dimensions, the fundamentals behind the model are always the same, namely interactions among close neighbors. The one-dimensional case is of course the simplest one, and if we consider a very long line, we can impose periodic boundary conditions without loss of generality. Then we can assume that an infinite line is equivalent to a closed circle as it appears in the figure. With the help of the partition function, we can calculate certain thermodynamic quantities like the internal energy, for example, inside the icing model. Something really interesting about the icing model is that even if we start analyzing just close network interactions, at the end the results show that there is some kind of correlation between distant particles. This is a natural consequence of quantum mechanics. For understanding how surprising is this issue, imagine that Stella and Iti are talking, then imagine that Alejandro is very far away from them. The IC model is telling us that the interaction between Stella and E.T. affects or influences the behavior of Alejandro, who is not even causally connected with them. Something even more amazing about the IC model is the fact that the physical consequences at the end depend on the number of dimensions. Then, for example, in the one-dimensional case, we don't have phase transitions. Instead, for the two-dimensional case, we have a clear phase transition. So many materials have been found to behave like the IC model. This is really surprising considering the simplicity of the model. In summary, the IC model is a very useful tool for modeling the behavior of several materials. If we calculate the partition function by using the Hamiltonian of the ISM model, then we can find certain relevant thermodynamic quantities, like the internal energy or the heat capacity. Finally, while the one-dimensional version of the ISM model doesn't have phase transition, the two-dimensional case has a clear phase transition. If you liked this video, please give us a like. Share the link and subscribe to the channel. More videos in Spanish and in English are coming very soon. Continue with us.